Hello, I'm at the Goodwill in Twin Falls, and I thought I would go in there and see the different seasons that they have out. Of course, this could be Halloween. It's about um, six days from Halloween. No, less than that. Today's Wednesday and October 27th, I believe. So we're very close to Halloween, so they're gonna have a Halloween stuff, but I thought it'd be fun to see if they have Thanksgiving stuff, fall stuff, and Christmas as well. And I thought I'd take you around the store and let's just call this Goodwill Seasons of Goodwill. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's start exploring spooky goodwill. <laughs> Let's start off with Halloween. Ooh, it's hanging from the ceiling. Gross. Here I am being a goof, as usual. Let's continue our spooky tour. It's always fun to see what Goodwills have out for the different holidays. I thought that was cute. That was for a pet. Those are hats. They had an extensive collection of costumes, as you can see. That was cool, like a country western shirt.
as you can see they have quite the assortment of costumes and it's a little bit picked over anything and everything including a sports nut oh that was Christmas this is the fall or autumn harvest guy I found I was gonna get him and I had him in my car for a while and then I realized that his leg was falling off he was cute too but kind of a cheapy thing the other one I was gonna keep because I just sold a pumpkin decoration that was similar to that guy but like I said his foot was falling off and I don't want to repair it so I put him back that was cute. This Goodwill has a lot of their items on top of these rounders, which I'm not a fan of. I'd much rather go to an aisle and look at these things. I think that was a napkin holder, but it's really big and heavy. I thought that was interesting. Easter again. I'm just going to kind of do a shout out when I see the different holidays or seasons. I consider getting that. I just didn't feel like looking it up, honestly. <laughs> More Halloween. Christmas. Easter. Okay, I should stop you guys. I don't want to annoy you. <laughs> Valentine's Day. I'll let you spot the seasons and holidays for yourself. Kind of like that guy, but don't want to get him for six bucks. I thought this hand was very cool. I don't know what it's for though. Do you stick it in a plant or what? I like that Snoopy dog. I should have looked it up now that I think about it, but I have a few Snoopy peanuts thing for sale and they're just sitting there, so. I think that's why I didn't pick it up. I thought that was interesting. But it's too close for Halloween now to ship. That was cute. I seriously consider getting that, but I left it. I thought this was very interesting. A white witch hat. I've only seen the black ones. So it's like you're a good witch, I guess. Like maybe Glinda and the Wizard of Oz. I like this pillow and I consider getting it. But when I comped it out, they only sell for $10 to $12. So sadly, the ret pillow returned to its home. I like that dragonfly pillow too, but apparently I didn't pick it up. Okay, got some more costumes here. They kind of have them spread out through the store. 
I always thought it'd be fun to be one of these Goodwill employees who gets to organize the end caps. You know how they usually do um, color code them or, or by seasons? And holidays, obviously. I'm just taking a look down all the aisles, seeing what I see. That looked like an Easter tray. Love these bags that they have, but couldn't find anything today. A few Christmas ornaments, which I'm not ready to buy yet. <laughs> I thought that was funny, mouse traps. I'm not really funny. I don't want to think of the poor mice getting trapped in those. More Easter. If there had been a whole bunch of those pumpkin napkin rings, I might have picked them up. Love that. Fall is just a wonderful time of year. Hope. You can always have hope. This is a fun section in this Goodwill with all the pictures. Just never know what you're going to find. I thought that was really cool. Consider getting it. Not a bad price. I just thought ugh, signs kind of sit in my store for a while and didn't want to get it. Thought that was cute. Very sweet. Send in the clowns. Oh, true. Although I think that's kind of a fall thing. It's not necessarily Halloween. Oh, well, I guess this guy goes together. Oh, probably, yeah. yeah. Oh, Benzies. Yes. I guess he's... <laughs> oh, these are cute. I would do it. 
Oh. There you go. I think I'd do it. I think I'd play him apart and do him by himself. I wouldn't have him sitting in there. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely could. It looks like it's loose, so it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> oh, it's rolling. Did you find another kitty? No, not yet. Still looking. Uh, no, it was rolling towards me. <laughs> I'll think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside. Looking at this wrapping paper, and I consider getting some, but it's a little too soon for Christmas. But if you guys haven't thought about this, thrift stores sell wrapping paper really cheap. That was adorable. I really consider getting that. It's just going to take up room in my office, and I would have to pack it with bubble wrap because it is somewhat fragile on the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday I thought this Santa Claus was cute. It's like a chimney. I actually don't know what it is. Um, figurine, I guess. I'm not sure. I know it doesn't look like I picked up much, but I mostly shopped for something that you will see in a little bit. Fashion adding machine was cool. Look vintagey. You guys saw the price though. Wasn't gonna get it for that. And this is what I ended up buying the most of, t-shirts. I spent quite a bit of time here because the t-shirts here are only $1.99. Turns out it's just the adults t-shirts. I found out later that the long sleeve t-shirts are $5.99. So that would have saved me time if I would known because I ended up putting some back. But then John discovered I put 
a particular shirt that's coming up soon back and he wanted me to go back and get it so I did consider getting these Deadpool shirts this is one of two that I found looked up comps they sell from anywhere from 10 to 30 and they were consistently more selling for around 15 to 20 so I ended up putting back both of the Deadpool shirts that I found but as you could see there's a wide variety of shirts there was some really good ones though and as you can see I'm looking at XXL and Boise State oh that's the Green Bay Packers that's the shirt I left when I found it was six dollars and John wanted me to go back and get it so I did go back and get it I end up getting that because it's Pink Floyd from their animals tour and concert shirts sell these aren't a super high value but I think I could get 20 25 maybe 30 for it I did look up this shirt the Night's Watch I couldn't find any comps on it all so I didn't end up buying it this is another Deadpool shirt I considered it as well but I left this behind this the return of the alien I looked that up couldn't find anything so I left it this Marvel shirt I did look up comps are low so I didn't get it I did end up getting this Yoda shirt figure I could get 20.25 for that I asked John about this he said it's not worth much I do comp out sports shirts but I ask him a lot because he knows the teams and knows if it's going to be worth big money that's why you saw me in the last video asking John about sports teams for t-shirts they look like another Deadpool shirt This was interesting. I didn't know what it was though. I didn't see the brand name and so I passed it up. So typically I look at XXLs and XLs on t-shirts. I don't even bother looking at mediums or smalls. I thought that was funny. This is part one of my Goodwill trip. Stay tuned for part two. <laughs>